Okay, so in this video, I want to go over a technique called the watch. Now, my mentor actually developed, she wrote a book on this called Feisty Fido, uh, Solutions for the Leash Reactive Dog. A lot of dogs get frustrated when they're on the leash and they see another dog because they can't move the way they want. It'd be like telling you, you know, you can't, uh, you can talk to somebody, but you can't use any three letter words. That would be pretty hard for us to do because we're like trying to think, is this a word I'm about to say a three letter word? So it's going to be really frustrating. And that's kind of how a lot of dogs feel when they're on a leash, especially if we don't teach them how we want them to behave on a leash. We, a lot of times we don't. We just put the leash on them and jerk when they get out of position. So for uh, dogs, dogs only actually focus on one thing at a time. So if your dog's walking down the street and it sees another dog, now it's going to be aware of the dog. Now, if you don't have a lot of rules and structure, which we kind of talked a little bit off camera, then the dog can get the impression that I am possessive of the humans, especially if the dog is walking in front of us. So sometimes that will make the dog more reactive than anyone behind the dog. So we let our dog walk in front of us and the skateboard or bicycle goes by, because especially fast, especially little dogs, they like freak out about it. Now your dog is dog reactive um, and it might be just leash frustration. So what we want to do is we want to teach the dog a different behavior to adapt anytime they see other dogs. This is called, like I said, the watch. So uh, what I'm going to do is I just want to kind of set it up in this video, and the next video we're actually going to I'm going to be showing the, how to go through the watch and how to practice it in very various degrees of difficulty.